Whenever you're ready. Oh my gosh, oh! I'm Eric! Let's see a little bit more of this away. <laughs> Pizza clap. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are a first tech challenge team from Eden Prairie, Minnesota, and we are called the Design Service. My name is Rebecca. I'm Kirsten. And I'm Eric. In this video series, we're going to be covering everything you need to know about your rookie season as an FDC team. Let's jump into it! Bye! Branding is also a really important element of your team's experience during the first season. Now, just like a company, branding is coming up with sort of a corporate or a team identity for your robotics team. The whole point of branding is to create a, and again, an identity for your team using fonts, colors, business cards, web pages that all link together to form a cohesive identity so people look at your notebook, they look at your website, they look at their, your shirts, and they look at your robot and they say, that means your team. For example, we want people to look at our notebook and see that it screams design of source. Now you might be asking, what are some ways that we can incorporate stronger brand identity into our team experience? Well, an easy way to do that is colors. Colors are an incredibly important and powerful element of brand structure. As we mentioned in other videos, our team colors are red, black, and white. And these three colors are reflected in our shirts, on our robot, in our notebook, in our pit displays, even on our cart that we carry our robot around in. This helps create a cohesive brand identity. The design stores are associated with red, black, and white. People see those colors at a robotics tournament and they think of the design stores. The judges see those colors at a robotics tournament and they think of the design stores. Again, these brain connections that are being made by powerful images such as colors really help enforce our corporate identity as a team. Other things you can use to develop strong branding arts as a team are to develop handouts such as business cards which contain your team information, again, using your team colors. And as we've mentioned in other videos, carefully chosen, well executed, minimal fonts. Again, as we've said before, too many fonts is an absolute mistake and should be avoided at all costs. One of the strongest areas in your team's experience that you can incorporate branding is your engineering notebook. This is through things like colors, your team logo. As you can see, our team logo is this lovely little dinosaur right here. This is a Tyrannosaurus Rex made out of robot parts. It was drawn by one of our team members many years ago, actually. Yes, many, many years ago. And it's incorporated into our notebook, into our shirts, onto our robot, into all parts of our team. In our notebook, we increase our sense of team branding by having our logo on every page, our colors on every page, and our carefully selected fonts on every page. Again, this helps increase our sense of team identity and helps the judges to associate our robot and our notebook and our shirts and our lives with our team. Branding helps make your team memorable. So do it. Well, it's gonna be the good one. <laughs> I agree. Rookies. What's up, guys? In this post, we do colors. My name is Rebecca. My name is Pearson. Okay, scoop. Smack that subscribe button. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Oh, that's all? Oh, well, you don't need to say more things? Okay, I need to. Kirsten! <laughs> it's not an option! <laughs> 